What up, what up, YouTube, Tony Reacts, man, I'm back. Got another video for y'all today, man. I got something different for y'all today. We get y'all asses the motivational speech, you know what I'm saying, from, from Uncle Steve Harvey, man. We gonna, uh, we gonna listen to him, man. We gonna listen to him. Everybody needs some motivation every once in a while. I listen, I, not every day like I should, every other day, but I'm gonna start going back on my, when I get in my car, on my way to work, just listen to something that, Help me feel better. Get my day started. You know what I'm saying? Keep me, keep some positive thoughts in my head. But y'all, let's, let's, let's get into the video and I'll talk after the video. You're not supposed to worry about the future. I know that seems difficult, especially for young people. But the thing that I began to really master is not to worry about tomorrow. There's absolutely nothing mm. you can mm. do about tomorrow. Nothing. You don't even know what's going to happen tomorrow. You don't know how it's going to go. When you put worry into a tomorrow, you're putting a burden on yourself that you're not built to carry. God designed us to live today. Lord's Prayer says, give us this day our daily bread. Don't ask you nothing about tomorrow because he wants us to live in today. As a matter of fact, Living in today is plenty enough. He broke it down into two pieces. He got the daytime and he got the nighttime. The daytime you put in all your work and at night you rest. That's your day. If you worry about tomorrow, it accomplishes nothing. You know how many times I've worried about tomorrow and then when I got there, tomorrow was completely different than I thought it was going to be? And all of that worrying was for nothing. All of that. I'm Listen to worrying, what saying, y'all. Man, I, if I don't get this job tomorrow, I'm not, I don't know what I'm going to do. And then I got there and I didn't get the job. What was the worrying for? Or I got the job. What was the worrying for? <laughs> now, the only way to accomplish that is you really got to get into your faith. I and believe. if you're not a faith-based person, this thing called life's going to be really, really difficult. It's already difficult. That's why I don't smoke no more. You don't, you don't use prayer. That's why I don't drink you in the world of trouble, man. I don't need none of this shit. Like, I have I'm a great life, man, because I don't really worry about too much. And I got a lot of challenges, but... And I haven't always been this way now, you know what I mean? I used to worry about tomorrow. I used to worry myself to death. I don't care. You know, you know how many times they didn't cancel shows of mine? Every time they canceled a the show, God gave me another one. Every time. I got a talk show canceled, a little big shot canceled. They canceled the show. God gave me a Facebook watch show, paid me the same money in two weeks that I made in 34 weeks. Mm. What? what? You, got, you got to let God do what he's doing. But you got to use your faith, though. You can't allow people to dictate. If you can put that into your equation, folks, I'm listening. This is my first time. Faith don't make it easy. Faith makes it possible. You ain't got to worry about it being easy because life hard. But you just want the possibilities. Anything is possible, man. God got a great life for you. You just check in with him and see what it is. Because the plan you got, his plan way better than yours. I'm telling you right now, I've had some wonderful plans. The moment I stopped and asked God what he wanted, the plan he had, you know, I've heard old people say, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plan. <laughs> it's funny, man. It'd be amazing the stuff I planned. And then when I just said, okay, God, give me what you want me to give. And then he gave me way better than I had. That's, 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 that's what I need to say. You don't okay. have to do it that way, but it's the best way. But if you don't want to do it that way, then just go ahead and do your thing. And I'll, I'll see you at the bottom. <laughs> Y'all, that's the end of that video, y'all, but Yeah, man, everybody need a little motivation You know what I'm saying? Every day, every day Just Shit out here make you go crazy, man But that's the end of that video, y'all You know what I'm saying? Keep your head up, man Keep your head up, you feeling down, man? Feeling down? Keep your head up, keep your head up Watch something, man Watch some people, you know what I'm saying? You can That motivation will just get you through the day, man some days niggas don't be feeling it. I know my ass don't be feeling it some days. Should I go to work? 
And I just looked at it. Before I even walk in the building, I don't even, I don't even work in the building. I go in the building for about 10 to 15 minutes, get in my truck, and I go on my route. But sometimes I just sit in my car like, nigga, this ain't it. Like, I know I got to be here. We business partners right now, but nigga, I got to make some moves, but yeah. So I'm going to do, man, God. Just give me what you want to give me, man. I don't... <laughs> My plan might not be as good as yours, but just, just, I want what you want for me, okay? That's it. But y'all, that's the end of the video, man. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Hit the notification bell for me, man. And I'll see y'all in the next video, man. I'm part of the 32 games so I could do this. God, y'all.